Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a prayer request that someone has sent me in my email that I'd like to share with you so we can all keep this person in our prayers. Okay, one of our sisters named Pat um, said, oh, one more thing. She, we were discussing or she was discussing the rapture and all the dates and everything and someone was so sure it was today. Well, we're still here, so I guess it's not. But anyway, <laughs> she said, so ready to go. Yeah, aren't we all? <laughs> anyway, she says, oh, one more thing. Please keep my future grandson-in-law, which means her granddaughter's fiancé, uh, who is 28. He's a sweet person, and he believes... Oh, he's a believer, and he has this rare form of cancer that one in a million have. And they took it off his head, but now they found another part. They might have to take some of his skull as well. Oh, that's terrible. Well, they can replace them with a metal plate. And those people get to make all kind of jokes and knock on their heads. And it blows people's minds. Ha ha. I know this is not funny. But I'm saying uh, if it's this is kind of thing has happened before and they have treatments for that. I hope that's some encouragement for you, Pat, and you can pass that on to family. So they have to put him out again. Now, uh, so it's really just very upsetting to the whole family. But sometimes God uses trials to bring others closer to him. So whatever happens... I know it's God's will, and I do have so many, many, many praying for him. But we keep Nick in prayer and pray for the best to happen. And I said, I pray that Abba's will be done. He knows circumstances, and... He's in control. I keep saying that. I'm so convinced of it. I mean, we all should be. Satan thinks he's got all these plans. The Illuminati's got all their plans. They, and you know, they're, uh, they got good people. And I mean good in that they still love people as a whole. So they will whistle blow. I guess is how you'd put it to some people that they know on YouTube who tell us and then we're all, we as a group of people who watch YouTube videos, if you're not solid in Christ, they start, it's fear mongering and well, I don't want to put it that way because then it makes it sound like the channel is fear mongering. What I believe some at least is going on is disinformation. Some people are being used to pass on information to scare people. I could be wrong. We know things are going to happen. But you know this. I tell it to you all the time. Those of us who are ready and we pray that we may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Don't forget it. Keep on your spiritual armor. Keep pleading the blood of Jesus over yourself, your armor, your children, your spouse, your household inside and out, your property. Your vehicle's inside and out. Believe me, I had mine messed with by that Satanist that I dated. He told me he was a minister, but he just didn't have his own church at that time. Yeah, well, 
what a liar. You know, of course, he was associated with the father of lies, so it was no big deal to him to lie. I had heard that he even dressed up in a minister's black outfit with the little white thing here and was sitting in the Waffle House and flirt with women as acting as a preacher to get women. Hmm. So sad. But you can get a minister's license online. I tried. And I don't have a tongue lashing when they said it will only be as X number of dollars, hundred and some dollars. And you just have to fill out this form. And then there was nothing about how did, did I know the word of God? Do I know who Jesus Christ is? Uh, nothing. You can do that so you can open a wedding chapel and marry people. And unfortunately, people like him could do it so they could say they were a minister, even though they were not a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that sad? It's very sad. And I let him have it. I told him, you should at least give people a, a couple of essay questions and they should be able to answer it with several scriptures or they don't pass. I think I said something like that. You should have a test of some sort. So people could prove they at least know the word of God. The important parts. How to be saved. If they're going to be a minister. But apparently anybody can be a minister. In the state of Alabama. Now, I don't know about your state. But you can here. It's disgusting. Anyway. So let's keep this young man. We don't have a name. Just put, uh, if you write things down, 28-year-old believer, 28-year-old man, believer. Uh, oh, oh, Nick, I'm sorry, it's down here. Nick, but we keep Nick in prayer and pray for the best to happen. Okay, sorry about that. I read it, I probably read it and forgot. So his name is Nick. Let's keep him in prayer. That the Lord will be in control. That Satan is the liar and will not take his life unless it is Father calling him home before things happen. Because he's not due to be in the first rounders. And I believe that's what a lot of these deaths going on right now are. And of course they'll put it down as COVID somehow. It's ridiculous. Anyway, with that I'll say, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over Nick. I ask you, Father, to put a, your healing hand upon him and Jesus, that by your blood he will be healed. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections. So with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.